Ash, huh? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on. With our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Fun. Danny's all of both. I just think it's... What is happening? What is that? No, look at my character, guys. I didn't even know what it happened to Chris. Hey, hey, what's up, baby? And welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. Last time we left off at the mansion after we played the little prologue of whatever it was. Beats me. Damn, I can't even talk over this because I can't hear shit. But we played as a guy. I think his name was Sam. I'm really about to turn, I gotta turn you up, cause you loud, not loud, you're not loud enough. That must be the highest difficulty. Yeah, well we played as a guy named, I think, Sam, um, and we found hello? Frank Stone. We've arrived. I don't think that nigga give a damn. This way? Hello? Oh, whole day. Yep, that's the location. Okay, I think this girl's name is Madison. Madison and actually, let's just take a look. Madison and Linda. And, oh yeah, I can look back. I think it's Sam. Yep, Sam. Hello? Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, Sam. Same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Madison. Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, actually. Mm. Ah. Middle name Lexington? What? Big town. The Big Apple? The, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Dang. Madison Avenue. Okay, got it. Dang. Okay, bro. You really, you really trying to, you trying to flirt. I mean, Madison's pretty. Apprehensive. This place kind of creeps me out. Creep town, right? I've been waiting here a while. Uh, this place creeps me the fuck out. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's not just me. I was taking a look around before and. Let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Mm-hmm. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, right now yeah. especially. The state of this place doesn't and exactly then the, reflect well. Then the paintings and the mysterious. books and everything and the scenery, like, come on. Haunted house-ass activity. Oh, Dan, this is... Linda Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am... I, I'm at a loss for words. I am just... Humbled by your presence. Damn, nigga, you uh, didn't even okay. see her a second ago. Stanford the third, at your back end call, only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, Stan. Truly, an honor. I really hope I never have to control you, <laughs> cause you're you're kind of weird. Uh, so what's going on right now? No clue. Uh, well, I think our new friend here. Is familiar with some of my little oh, movies. Hold on, hold on. Your movies are a lot of things, but they are not little. You're a filmmaker? How did I not oh, yeah. know? I've made some movies. A lot more than some movies, if I may say so. Have you heard of a little film called Buried by the Break of Dawn? No. Blood Point. Blood Benders. Dang, that's a lot of blood. blood. Swing in both directions, but death only moves in one. <laughs> Um, no, no, I don't watch horror movies. Sorry. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no. I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just, just me. me. Just, just Wait, me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> both. I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. <laughs> I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no. No, 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 no middle no. name Avenue. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host So now I got three niggas here. 
That felt weird as shit. This nigga stand creeping me out. For you with all the details. I don't trust niggas with man buns. Money and fast cars and the epic of Gilgamesh. Ah. Oh, obviously. This is the real book, if I'm not mistaken. Because I've definitely heard of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a real book. Hold on. Is that allowed? Shit, it's probably not copyright. Okay, so this is some bullshit. Where am I supposed to go then? Open. Huh. Murder mill. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Which Interesting is... choice. Yeah. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? Yeah. No. No. Is that one of Linda's movies? Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait. This is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. <laughs> Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Dang. Why? Bad movie? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. <laughs> Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. I... What? Who? Huh? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. The... Damn, what type of films you be making? The CIA has got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced Larry's Memorial Institute. How do you know all this? Straight DVD well, shit. Are you serious? Larry's that. Memorial? One of my least favorite maps. Hmm. Fucking hate that map. Hey guys, hey what's up, baby? Bay? I don't usually ask you guys for to like and subscribe, but I heard if you ask, then you shall receive. So if you guys are enjoying, I hope you guys like and if you're new, I hope you subscribe. Yeah, back to the video. And I'm trying to see because that looks like that looks like the area Sam died at. <clears throat> the lights finally uh, turned on. Is that supposed to happen? I the power. No, but I am digging up the axe. <laughs> Who is this? Ugly ass oh, haircut, though. Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. Oh, you're the person I came to many see. things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. I'll try to be <clears> throat> quiet throat> so, I, so you guys can hear. Oh, we'll dry it up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Also like a refreshment. Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Augustine Lieber. I feel like I've heard nice that shit to meet before, you, too. Augustine Lieber. Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Uh, relax. No, that's okay. Sure, I'll have whatever Stan's having. Sure. Yeah. I'll. Shit. If it's drugged, then Stan I guess can. I fail. Of course. It's too. It's too early to be on this bullshit. No thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on. Oh, that type of drink. Shit. I thought it meant like water. Bitch, are you dumb? Pardon me. Are you dumb? Fuck. I know it's been quite a long day. Damn, I didn't think we were attention. talking about. See, that's why I gotta pay Despite attention. That, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. Fate changed. You okay? 
Yeah, no, it's it's nothing. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Yeah, what is in there? Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur. Jeez. Allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Yeah. Why do you have that? Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. Yeah. Are we like putting possessions away? I. I, I never knew what it was from. Damn. So we you just told got. Me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What? What is the shit you promised to us? What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after forty years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to apologize again. What is the history behind this film? I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until This drink is definitely going to unwind I me. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course. Ms. Castle. I don't like her. Mostly because of that fucking haircut. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power the entity. through the steel Here we are. mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. So me succeeding with Sam stopped something. Die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. Ooh. I had to find the right means to awaken him. The Jamie Pants? Who is this? You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? I don't know, Sam. Jamie, why are you looking at me? I made you sick. Sick like a sneeze. You already sound sick in the head with that laughing. You bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. Okay, Jamie. Speak it, I guess. Okay, Jamie. He's showing us the human spirit go crazy. No. No, no, no. My sister. <laughs> that, that puts you right back in your place, huh? All I have to do... It's betray my own sister. Oh, never mind. Let me go free. To fight another day. That's crazy. Oh, you a fake ass nigga. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Oh, this is a movie. Never mind, I'm a dumbass. I'd rather die. Nigga, I would rather die than have my sibling. I fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. Absolutely. I'd rather die before I let I answer? somebody I, no. I love and there is nothing than have to kill somebody I love. My mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Oh. Oh, he put on some Texas Chainsaw ass activity. Uh, 
É o... What even happened? This acting is subpar. Damn, bro threw you back in the chair to cut you in half. And cut. How was that? That was amazing. That was fucking really? terrible. It wasn't like too much? No way. Absolutely. <sighs> Cause I feel like maybe I oversold her a little. You gotta play. Absolutely the oversold. Made, that's where the money is. Brad, how do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little super eights. Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off. So somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft, Jeez, Chris is a cool me. name for a girl. <laughs> so, are I'll fuck good. with the hair. What? Yeah, I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well, Linda, you did get the blood gag, didn't you? No. I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? No. You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. That's just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. I mean... <laughs> I understand. No such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Yeah, or that's fair. Acting. It's just acting. Does anyone You gotta respect the director. Defensive. I trust Linda's judgment. I mean, I guess you do get paid. You do get paid for this. But come on, give her some freedom with the camera. Uh, give her, give her some, give her some freedom with the camera. I mean, I thought this shit was ass. So I'm gonna be honest. Uh, eeny meeny miny. You do gotta respect what the director says. That is your job. You could get fired. Chris, I trust Linda's judgment. Come on. You kind of wilding out. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust, and I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions, and then we can see which way works better in the edit. Okay. And it'll be now, that's something I can fuck with. Because I'm the director. Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Metro booming, make it boom. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. <laughs> mm, more you guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. Y'all getting again, freaky like that? Going. That yes. nigga, that nigga, what's okay. his name, Jaime? He getting some. Um, uh, camera speed. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. I don't want to go through this shit again. And action. This is pain. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh. Recording a film? Hi, Mr. Green? Sheriff. Sheriff. Dang. Right. Sorry. Sam Green? How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill mr rivera how does nigga sam look even you younger than his original state now, shouldn't you be older unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail i suggest you miss castle and miss dixie miss tammy d dixie the country got me miss gordon <laughs> miss christine gordon i suggest you immediately vacate the premises and you do not 
under any circumstances, set one foot back here in the cedar still. Why is he here then? If it's condemned, if it's condemned, if we don't get our last few shots, apologetic. We're all we're really sorry. Let's just get the hell out of here. Let's not argue oh, with man. the police, sir. We're really sorry. We we didn't realize we were doing anything wrong. We'll clear out. Whoa, 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 Jaime! We've got a movie to finish. We have the shot, but we have to do what the sheriff says. He's the sheriff. I don't care who he is. He and we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. You're gonna, you wanna, you wanna get and, uh, locked up in jail for this. Damn, she got ass. Get to clean up. Never mind. I would be a yes man to that shit too. Uh, frustrated. What are we supposed to do about the busted camera? I guess that's it then. What are we supposed to do about the fu busted camera? We gotta fix that shit. What though. are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. Anywhere else, but here. Okay. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. I'm saying. We're not gonna do what he says, right? We have to. What the fuck you mean? Really? Come on. How to finish the movie when we get back to the garage? Don't be upset. We literally have to. Do you want to? Do you? Is it worth going to jail for? Come on. Let's be real. Damn, Chris is bad. Chris bad as. But what, what, what's what's up next? We're just introducing all of the characters. We got one, two, three, Sam. So four. We got three back at the at the main area. All wrapped out, sir. So we have seven. Thank you, Jaime. Now remember what I said, because I'm not gonna warn you again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sam didn't appreciate my tone. My tone wasn't even upset with the frustrated. I was expecting him to get more mouthy. He's like, what are we supposed to do with the busted up camera? He didn't even say it like crazy. He's like, what the fuck are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? That's what I was expecting. He said that calm as hell, if anything. And Sam didn't like my tone, so I should have just been disappointed, I guess. A curiosity on Main Street. I don't like the way that sounds. We're going to keep playing, though. You want to know why? Because we got to be here for a while. I ain't cutting these episodes short no more. We going to be here until the, like until the next chap chapter that passes an hour and 30 minutes long. So I guess we just, we just going to keep teeing off. Why do you walk like that? Chris. Oh, what a complete and utter disaster. Don't be so dramatic. I'm saying. Like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic. God. I like it. You should be the hey, actress. What are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. You don't want to oh, be our ambassador? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <laughs> Yep, Jaime. Doesn't that's the Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? No, they nigga go old as shit. Actual criminals and shit. Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. I'm saying, there shit happens out here. Serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Yeah, uh, Green I was killed him. Baby, I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. Oh, I'm is that nigga the baby? Anything? Now, is that why Sam ca cares that much? Killer business. Sam, he must have been the baby. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. 
For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Well, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Exactly. Tell me the news. Tell me the biz. Don't be like, well, you'd get all ended. like this, nigga. I'm Before excited. That, there was Asshole. A string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Yeah. Murders. So what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Frank Stone. I don't know if we... Frank Damn. Stone. Huh. So Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like our steel mill where we were just shooting like an hour ago? That's why that nigga doesn't want Frank people to be there. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Probing. Who are the victims? What do you think he was up to? What do you think he was up to? Yeah. What do you think he was up to? There has to be a reason for him to kill a bunch of people, right? No, not Never exactly. Any kind of confession, so they don't really know for sure. Someone's also he died with his secrets. Some idea. Well, we could always just ask Frank Stone. You know the nigga that got domed? Crystal ball, Ouija board. What will they say? Shit, no. BB's hotline. Shit, no. Okay, okay. Oh, hell no. Once. I tried to speak to Mary Shelley, but Miss BB thought that was my grandmother, so she kept going on and on about eating enough cabbage soup. <laughs> Did you get a recipe? What? Oh, damn. Then again, maybe it's better not to dig up old bones. Absolutely. If it's ancient history, people don't really like to talk about it. At all. You do get reporters asking around sometimes. Really rubs people the wrong way. Once Sam Green became sheriff, that all died down anyway. Yeah. That makes sense. The nigga probably got promoted to sheriff right as soon as all this shit went down. Questions. What were the reporters asking about? Sam Green seems like he cares a lot about this. No, it's not Sam. Let's not let's not act like Sam's weird. What exactly were the reporters asking about? I don't know. I literally the played as that nigga Sam. Dig up dirt. They had to have been on to That nigga is traumatized. What? Well, just forget about it. Everybody around here has. Except Sheriff Green. Fine. If you guys aren't interested in filling me in, I'll find someone else who is. Okay. Good luck. I guess it doesn't really matter what happened at the mill since we can't finish shooting there with a busted camera. Hey. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. What in the shit? A goth is not exactly who I was expecting to fucking start speaking at Espanol. Howdy, partner. Jovo. Hey, you okay? You okay, my nigga? Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing. It's fine. Mm. Yeah. Didn't sound fine. As yeah. soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just That's family. Yeah. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to grow me like I'm 16. I'm saying. Totally. Niggas, what is no, thinking, that's, right? that's so real. Because niggas be on bullshit. They be acting like you don't do anything. And they act like they need you to come and help them. They always be acting like you don't be doing enough because you're not on every fucking women knee for them. Because they need something. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, I'm just trying to figure out how he thinks that that is no <clears throat> i want to understand how this girl coming back home and dropping everything that she had so she could go and help her sick mom isn't doing enough even though she literally came back to the goddamn house so she could help your ass see that's especially i don't i hate niggas a lot Tutorial. I don't even need a tutorial. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. Want a yeah. punching bag, my nigga? The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. That's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, 
Where's the Jaime Bell? <laughs> ring, ring. The What's Jaime Bell? The Jaime Bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. Okay, there's all the bullshit. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What of else? Of course, that's what, what all niggas need. What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. I'm trying to figure out. How much do you need? Casual, 10 bucks. 20 bucks recovered. Nervous, casual. It's just 10 bucks. Just like 10 bucks? So, let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure. sure. Of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit Faygo credit. Linda. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer. Like what? Reluctant, you can borrow my van? Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> there we go. What? Not Dude, enough? I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are then cool. you want. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, nope. try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. Chores oh, over a chores car is crazy. Okay. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. That's it. Wise decision. That's you easy as shit. Why are you over here complaining? Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. Thank you, partner. Fate changed. Bonnie gave you money to fix the camera. If I ask for twenty bucks when we only need ten, that's just that's just being an asshole. Let's be real. You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine. It's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Mm. Oh. It did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? No. Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? No. It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> okay, they, they bounce off of each other quick. Pause. Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera. Because she definitely be bouncing on him. Okay, sure but can we talk about Linda dropping the camera? It. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we can take it. What? Now, I want to know how Linda dropped the whole damn camera and busted it. They got a new tenant. The curiosity shop, see like, sure, he cameras? like he didn't even pop out the random, like though. Like, he might have caught you by surprise, but he wouldn't have caught me so hard drink. by surprise. We're like, ah! Never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Let's just get the drugstore curiosity shop. Is this like an overall choice? I don't want to buy something in the curiosity shop. Please tell me we go to the drugstore and shit afterwards. Please don't do anything stupid. I certainly am curious regarding said shop. Eh? We're not buying a new... I get it. Lead the way. We just want to see. We just want to see. Because if there is something that we might need later on... Man. I didn't know any better. I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe yeah. just write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner's a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Oh, you're Check a freaky ass nigga. Ooh, cameras. Yeah. Uh, oh. These look like they've seen better days. All of them. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Hell no, we're not buying a camera at the curiosity uh, shop. Too bad. So much for that. We can still have the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Hello. Oh, who Hello? is this? Store we teller. Saw the cameras. We or store seller. I'm not sure what it said. For this? Of course you are. Please. Come on inside. Freaky ass grandma. 
I don't like this. Now I'm back as Chris? The way they just be handing now, the characters, they be passing characters around. I think I have something that may interest you if I can find it out back. Please make yourselves at home. Okay. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. Okay. Make ourselves at home? Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. Freaky. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> yeah, hell no. <laughs> nah, I don't want to be here too, any longer than I have to. Huntress mask. Sub Huntress. Oh, cute bunny. There's nothing cute about this bunny. Wraith's I don't know what weapon. That is, but it looks his, painful. His bone. He hitting people with his boner. At least that's what I call it when I'm swinging it. Pick up. What's this? Smiley face. Just a pin. want to watch this creep fest you what's all the suspense here for god damn cuddling up to that at night shit no the trapper i would never want to cuddle up next to anything like this Okay, talk to Linda was the objective. I mean, it's an option to use. That doesn't mean I should do it. Makes sense. Literally behind the front desk. Okay, let's talk to Linda because that's literally the best I got. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. That's ten on the dot. I insist. Doesn't the old one have all of our footage though? It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Makes uh, sense. How much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Are we going to try and haggle this old lady? $10. Ten bucks. Francis. That seems reasonable. Doubtful. That's a little high. I mean, it is 10 bucks, and most cameras are way more expensive, especially in 2024. That seems a little high. Do I want to argue the price, though? It won't really do all that much. I mean, it is old. I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but yeah. perhaps I can sweeten the deal. Ooh. One of a kind. Handmade. It's for luck. Sure. Well, I think I'll pass. We could use it as a prop. I guess we could use it as a prop. Sure. It's a deal. Delightful. <laughs> Give her the money. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, 
It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Uh huh. Yeah. Freaking, I don't. We probably yep. should have gotten the That's camera us. replaced because now what do we do with the memory of the old one? I don't like the way that feels. I was waiting for the path change to hit. Wait, guys. Oh, I'm such a moron. I told my mom I'd pick up some milk on the way home. Oh, do you want me to... With what cash? Be right back. With what we cash? Just, we just spent all the money. Emergency sock quarter. Emergency sock quarter? Emergency sock quarter? You just keep quarters in your sock and milk's only a quarter? How? Wait, what is this place that you're able to get these prices? If I wanted to buy an actual camera, like, even that camera probably would have been, like, pushing 50 bucks. Cursed movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. <sighs> yep, give me the peace. Give me the loot, baby. Oh, I can play? No, we're not going to insert a fucking coin. When we need milk. She said she had one quarter. We're really going to spend our last quarter on I something that we can't so even use? Find a place for these murder milk. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. I really can't believe you spent all the budget on a freaking shirt. That's crazy. We don't even need the shirt. Like, it looks cool. It's fire. But now look at the predicament we're in. Okay. Press the bell. Uh, oh. Hey, Chris. Robert! Wait, I thought you worked at the library. Dang. How so my nigga know? Robert, don't think I ever saw you come in. I got spies everywhere, man. Everywhere, everywhere. So, Linda. Busted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Yeah, mm, that makes sense. I don't think that's a real kind of worm. I mean, Neither you can... a bookworm. <laughs> Yeah, there's no such thing as a bookworm either, nigga. I'm a game uh, so worm. So, we're about to close in, like, two minutes, so. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. I thought it was about to say 25 bucks. I was about to crash the fuck out. Yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. It's volunteer hours. Yeah. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section too. Why is everybody okay, like horror? horror guy. I am very books. much not a horror He's man. Comics too. Whatever I can get my hands on. I can't do you know, horror movies I mean, at all. I are all making a horror movie down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. The closest thing to a okay. horror movie I got to was the the Scream Netflix series, kind of and it's not even on Netflix anymore. Super into it. They killed me. But... Streets killed me. <sighs> Does my dad know you're going into the mill? Oh, he yeah. That's that place like a hawk. We know. Uh, yeah, we had a little run in with him today, but we're going to sneak back in to shoot the rest. Behind you, behind you, behind you. <sighs> Man. Robert, I know you see. I know you see your dad right behind me. I would me. love to be involved. Involved in what? Hey, dad. Yeah, uh, Chris was just telling me about a. Um, the a... movie. We're putting together a fundraiser to show movies. At the library. Why would they show movies at the library? That sounds like a terrible okay. idea. I know your dad's like, I don't believe that shit at all. You need a ride home? Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. Hello. Howdy, Sheriff. Chris. Yes. I'm sorry I was a little harsh with you and your friends before. 
I just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Provocative. We're still gonna finish the movie. They told me about Frank Stone. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you'll see enough shit. You realize every place has got its demons. Makes sense though. Like that place is just. Take care. Take care. That was such an actual hey, real hey, interaction. I can get you back into the mill without him knowing. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> Let's make a movie. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber. That's why I remembered Augustine. She's the little person that's narrating the shit. Frank Stone confided in me. Allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. Did you need now, you needed to be in a psychiatric ward? A new timeline. My mom's calling. New Get back into it. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. Oh my God! But what true creator wouldn't? That's terrible. For their art. See, look at what they're about to do. They about to go film and they about to find something they really don't want to see. These walls have eyes, chapter 4. We finally getting into the actual game. But we kind of been chilling right now. Where, where did when did I fall asleep? Nightmares. Probing, bad dream, compassionate. Are you okay? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Where? A thousand, oh. A thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. Damn. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh. Oh, I don't have. Right. Maddie, do you have one? Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. Why is she so, so intense about all this? All film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made linda if they're not fakes yeah mine's not fake and all that stuff you said about it being cursed murderous rages cia interrogation total disassociation with reality wait because it's so rare only a few people know for sure <gasps> oh shit how did i not get that 1980 I, because when I was looking at it, I thought this is 2024. Yes, this is 1980. Linda is the girl in the overalls with Chris and Jaime. They made murder. <laughs> they made murder mill. So something's about to go very wrong. <laughs> so is if Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it. <laughs> she's going to have to pay up. Yeah, I don't know I anything don't about Madison's so background story I mean, about this. It's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. 
Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Me too. Well, I've never even seen the film. The business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponents. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? Yeah, probably the best question to what ask. You director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? What are you waiting for? I'm good here. Shit, what are we waiting for? We got nothing better to do. And it's not like we're actually going to sit by and doing nothing. So why not just... Conf why not go for it? What are you waiting for? Like, that that's as real as it gets. Like, we, we were not, we were not going to sit in this room regardless. Let's be real. Well, now, this is a real bold statement kind of room you know what i mean huh. absolutely oh, cash but not like this kind of cash yeah, yeah this is crazy as as you thought in business we don't call them marks hustling is a rocket not a business i wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills if i were you but rattling around up here that could be mutually beneficial i don't like stan at all how do you know about Murder Mill? Curious. Tell me about Augustine. I don't give a damn about Murder Mill. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. <laughs> Augustine Lieber. Elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And okay. Great analogy, I guess. I arrived, I Kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes dark stuff. The really dark stuff. Of course they do, because that's Stop exactly what everybody that. wants. Why not learn about all the creepy Very stuff impressive. that should be buried? Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? I told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh... What happened? Just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. Of course it would. Like, look at it. I feel like I've seen that tree, Shelter Woods. The amount of hours I have in Dead by Daylight is honestly kind of ridiculous. Outfit, by the way. What's that? Ah, yes. Let's check out the other. I didn't want to think it cut off. Wait, hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well. It's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? Bonnie was Jaime's sister. You look just like her. Did you know my mom? Yes. A long time ago whole other lifetime her younger brother Jaime was one of my closest friends uncle Jaime I am um, I never met him I hadn't heard that Bonnie had passed yeah it was pretty sudden that's crazy wow I didn't know it was like that Daddy, that's it's quite sad nigga you Sorry. sound so fake touching what about you Sam I'm sorry you had to go through that. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, sorry you had to go through that. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Funny, yes. Bonnie went the exact same way her mom did. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. Damn. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Nigga. 
I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. This nigga is such an attention-seeking little whore. Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? Attention-seeking little this man kind of whore. Is very valuable. Then keep What's it, because I'm not paying for it. You know what? I'm going to have to get back to you on that. Nigga, I see. I don't fuck with this nigga Sam. So I was about to say Sam Stan. Eminem made a song about your ass. And I'm not trying to deal with your bullshit, bro. You you on cool that's statue. Billy. Missing a piece though. Yeah, there's nothing cool about fucking Hill Billy. What they did well, to him, my boy. Finally buffed him though. Resemblance in Augustine's family. Yep. Looks like it opens with a key. No shit. What gave that away? What's this? Whoa. Quite a piece. It's Look missing a middle one. piece, I'm, I think. Beautiful. I don't know what the fuck it is. Well, time to run. What the frick is this hitbox that Maddie has on her? Augustine has a yeah. uh you know, what would collection? you do if it was you here instead of me? I've never seen anything like no this. No way. Stuff. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's the... Dan? What the fuck is this nigga talking you about? sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who? Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I, I wasn't. I could hear you. Yeah. I was... Talking to my mom, to Bonnie. I was in Berlin, you know, at school when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did. And she wasn't there. But by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. Coming back? It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. That's, that's definitely a coping mechanism. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. I probably got this because this she's just close. Summer. Yep. Damn, the change is crazy. I know you said it had been a really long time, but... Can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, history repeats itself. She was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her, she did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Uh, Kurt, it's not a good idea to on the past. There's something I never told anyone else. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Are we about to go flashback? Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but what? there's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Oh my god, we about to get back into the flashback. Seen a pass through a night, flashback. We were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just so she's just ripping it in the garage just going direction. crazy and right in the middle of it all was bonnie of course i i don't think i've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves the only thing that mattered was that moment nothing else i'm trying to i'm trying to lock in that was your mom They didn't really tell me much of a story. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. That wasn't much of a story. Look. What? 
I don't see anything. It's, it's them old ass eyes. There. No, there's somebody else. There's somebody out there. If the plot gets, if this plot gets any thicker, flippant, concerned, they might be after the film strips. If this plot gets any thicker, I, I want, I just want to get a line. Great. If this plot gets any thicker, it's going to need a new pair of jeans. Huh. Um, do you guys think we should be worried? I mean, what if they're dangerous? Maybe we should find Augustine and let her know. Yeah, maybe. maybe I don't know. Good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? Yeah. There's artifacts all over the place. Right. But so it's probably special ones. You were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts. Maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Yeah. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be. Whether Augustine's in there or not. Yeah, Stan. Okay. You might want to big up, my boy. Put some jeans on. I don't even like your outfit, low key. Is this is that Sam? No way, that's Sam. His old ass is still alive. The Phantom of the Cedar Steel. Hi, me. It's taking them so long. I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. The band's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. <laughs> they find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? Might be, might be the reason I'm single. I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. We've just got a lot to do. I know, that's, that's real though. Is it controlling to be punctual? Right on time. Right on time. Hey, right on time. Time to get cooking. Uh, what's cooking? Good looking. <sighs> Loud as hell. What? Nothing, nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. After you just yelled, though. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's no, all right there. Because I've never no. tell me more. really ventured a library like, like that. I all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. Let's get I to it then. All the credit. I had a little help from my uh, <sighs> assistant. It was nothing. Hey, modesty free zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. Just doing my job. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that Chris feels insecure about Robert. Member of the team. Got to wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is. This is amazing. I'm I'm honored. I mean, does it? You want to wear the stripes? You got to earn the rights. Damn. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast yep. your eyes. I mean, I guess. Whoa. I mean, it's Wait, definitely insecurity. Ah, uh, yeah. So... But has never exactly been stoked about shoot if he really feels that type of way i mean there better be if, if he really feels that type of way they, there better be a there better be an option to press her on it then but i thought he got the guy yeah and sheriff kushik took all the credit people around here knew what was up but let me see that this one's a damn just straight snatched this shit. you didn't even let me finish reading details left out of the press the first time around and dad got a little more credit too this is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Except, dude, guess not. Stone's victims were real people. I mean, I, I'm not really going to press it, but, like, of course his victims were real people. 
like there's tons of there's tons of the movies that are like that that are based on real people that had tragedies happen like i'm not gonna press her on it because that's that's just normal guess not it's definitely not something you see every day that's what i'm counting on like it's not even Wait, worth getting so upset over it's, it's literally what happens yes right so slight change of plan like the what? titanic they made when a movie Robert obviously they probably know didn't articles, we know they all the characters behind it and they just probably imagined mill, a bit even more shit ended up becoming one of the highest sold shoot. movies ever so it'll just take us a few minutes to look through that's not gonna leave us and then they hit an iceberg trust me it'll be worth it especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill Okay, look around the garage and then talk to Linda. That sound like a fun place to spend a 12-hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. Tom Hot interview. Mill was in serious decline. But if it doesn't mention Frank. Oh shit, he actually know. kept it. It's all And I'm stuck. Related. But to say, I'm about to, to crash. He was or, or why he did what he did or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. Journalists sure can't get enough Frank Stone. Get some information. Sad to see it go. Get some, some get some little info in there. When was okay with all this Frank Stone stuff? And a little before. Oh, good Murder. Thinking. Good thinking. Shoot, I understand being a little upset over. The fact that his girl was spending a lot of time with a dude that. Oh, there we go. I can't believe mom's finally getting out. I can't wait. Yeah, but if you really feel insecure about it, talk to her about it. Like, obviously in private, not now. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of it. Mm, understandable. The Frank Stone thing. Concerned. Should I be worried? Insecure. Should you be worried about Robert? The, the, in, the obsession with Frank Stone is intense. I don't give a shit about Robert. Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. Okay. Let's bite. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Did she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about it last night. Okay. Oh, she was into it? We'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect. Okay. But I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. That's pretty rad. We shouldn't have wasted all this time. Encouraging. That's pretty rad. It's pretty rad. Hope we have time to shoot it. It's very supportive of you. Thanks, Robert. No problem. I mean, Jaime. Sorry. Forgot which one of you is the supportive one. That was mean. You're mean. Asshole. Yes. Yes, I am. Huh? What is it's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. The machine That's shop. The place. It's perfect. So that beats going go. to the mill. Okay, people. Company move! Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. See, I don't I don't think Robert liked that. See, like look at that's not something you would see. Not casual activity. Hmm. Now what were you little ding dongs working on? Now we're playing as Bonnie? Hello. Interesting. No, we're not. Okay. I really wish that, like, it feels like it's not loud enough in my ears. Yeah, this is just the way it has to be for me. I don't like this idea. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. It got better though. There it is. Not the. Oh, you see the creek down there? Not the dialogue the though. That takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. Of course, they put the DVD shit. Four people, survivors. Oh God. Let's do this. Yes, we do. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ready? We about to get murdered. Careful. First step's a doozy. Okay, this is this is where she gets real. Okay, I, that that's all they had to do. That's all they had to let a nigga know. It's gonna get real here. All right, this way. We're playing as Chris. Okay, objective. Anything back here? Probably not. If not, okay, I guess not. Let's let's scooch through, squeeze. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay. I can't believe we're gonna see the place where Franks don't actually kill people. I like the way they vault. It's actually like, okay. it's crazy Two how dead by daylight this game is. I mean, it is literally there? produced They're by behavior. Difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also going to take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? Climb across. I mean, as long as a. I mean, a long route wouldn't necessarily be bad. I do like fast though. Why not? If I can hit, I can hit skill checks. Let's keep this as simple as possible and not waste any time. Okay, okay. We just have to be careful about my dad. We will. Hop on over. You like the few, I mean? I was expecting it to like be Your skill checks really or something. The mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Huh. That's crazy. I think it was weird, but it's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. But I didn't even want to take that. Was that was it really that tra traumatizing? What was the title? The man who drew blood from a stone. Damn. I mean, it could make Mother a good title ring. for the other movie. Uh, other movie? I literally press Y. We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Oh. But maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. I'm saying. Totally. Come yeah. on, Chris. That's kind of crazy. Not even discussing. Okay, I can see why he's getting a little bit insecure. That's kind of crazy. That would make that would rub me the wrong way too, especially if this nigga just came out of nowhere. Tyrone ass nigga. That would definitely it probably wouldn't make me feel insecure. It would have rubbed me the wrong way though. Everybody hide. Y'all did not move with no urgency. Then stop doing it. He won't come back this way again. Let's go. Have you snuck to the mill before? So you know this for sure? I'm ready for the skill check. I already know it's coming. Never mind. 
You know, for a game that does the skill check button is A, this I think. Awesome. See, they're not really, they're not like to toning my skill time. check skills, bro. Like, they're not really, they're not really toning my skill check skills. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be as good at skill checks if it just randomly pops up one day. Like, bro, you gotta, gotta be giving me like small little skill checks, especially on the hardest difficulty. You would think there'd be some more. I mean, we're not even in the action yet, so I guess. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but. At least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> That's always a nice, reassuring uh, thought. Thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yeah. What you got in there? Ah, oh, well, the flashlights, uh, my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible. Did cookware, he say three ponchos? <laughs> Why not four? You know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always. Why do we not that if you're so prepared why only three ponchos? You know it all, all I'm gonna say is if I me is the only person that doesn't have a poncho If he, he's gonna give it to both of the ladies and I'm gonna be the only one without a poncho. That's that's a crashed out willing moment Because I already know they wouldn't have highlighted the fact that there's only three ponchos and four of us either one of us is gonna die So we won't need the fourth we must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Oh Have you my ever god. Talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? No. Probably not. His dad probably there doesn't like talking about it. One time. When I was little and he was really drunk. We went exploring. Yeah, give me that. Wraith toy. Who would have left this here? A lot of people, because that shit is creepy. I mean, it's kind of adorable, honestly. That one's not that bad. It could have been a lot worse. And I almost wouldn't have seen this if it wasn't for the fact that I went that way. Honestly, those aren't really that useful. They just show me what I found. Okay. Let's keep going. Oh, shit. It does work. Whoa. Let's try to, let's try to loot fast. Huh. Well, okay. Item added. So Chris has the key, so be careful with Chris. Oh, right. I'm not sure about Linda's new scene. But if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. That makes sense. This is like the fact that you guys aren't even this aren't even open about your friendship and y'all can't even criticize each other's stuff is crazy. I like how I'm the only one that went. That made me feel uneasy as shit. Nobody came with me. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked Hanging out around haunted mills. <laughs> I don't really think it's haunted. Yeah. Don't I? Knock it off. You know, it's kind of crazy that you guys didn't include anybody else in the conversation. Where is Linda? Can we talk about that? Linda is nowhere to be found. Like, you would, like, forget left behind. She's just gone. Maybe I'm thinking of the furnace ladder that broke. No, because that's, that would make sense. He lost his hat from the ladder that broke when it. So Linda, Linda just oh, thank she goodness. just didn't come with the group, I yes. guess. Robert, you're a genius. And she just spawns here. On the storm drain. Thank you, Robert. 
Come on, people. No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. Flapping our yap sacks is crazy. This is going to be bad. I don't like this. We're going to find some some fucking spirit that that we don't want to find. The entity about to take us. I don't like the way that looks. And cut. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville. Let it go, everybody. Calm down. Being loud. <clears throat> oh, dang. Disapproval? We still have one more scene. A little premature with the face sucking. We still have one more scene. Yeah, we still have one more scene. Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where are you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind. I don't like the way they said that. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? Why are we going to the furnace chamber? What do you guys think? Let's... I say we do it. Sounds good. Oh, God. And something's looking at us. Yep. That's not Sam. Sam would have just busted up. Huh? Oh, hell no. Yo. You coming? I saw some. Uh, yeah, be right there. Bro, we're in the middle of an abandoned area, and you're not gonna call up the fact you just saw some no. voodoo. That was nothing. You sure? No, I'm uh, not sure. Spooked. It was What's definitely up? something. Nothing. Nothing, right? Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ooh. <laughs> Gotcha. So Bonnie followed us? Disagree. Not cool. <laughs> what are you doing here? I mean, I was about to say you're big, crew. but how you would you feel if somebody help. literally then I'll just hang out grabbed and behind? Out the this is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. Yeah. I mean. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. Nigga. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? And, uh, and that's all I'm good for? Uh... Uh, no, 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 I mean, we I finished. Mean, no, we haven't finished uh, shooting. <clears throat> Linda? Guys, I don't care if she tags along familiar. Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do familiar. Relax. I don't care if she tags along. Bonnie's gonna do what Bonnie's gonna do. I don't care if she tags along. Let her. Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. I'm saying, where's the act problem like at? I'm not even here. It's been enough. These act perks. He's like a laundry mat. Act like I am here, but like invisible. But you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross. Okay? Don't, don't do it. Okay, you can't make that rule because well, okay. you you decided to tag along. If they get freaky or what? Movie. That's not up money, to you. Right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you Well, nigga, damn. Our set. Shit, I like more people here. Now we're playing as Linda. Get me another piece of the pie. Never mind, I thought this was, like, one of those. I bet I just realized there's no plunders, so it makes sense. No plunders instinct. That's just showing me how far I got... Why are we all going in here? Damn, how did you get out faster than me? I would assume. No mash? Okay, plunders. I really hope that this is the right way because it was like past the building. I don't like this. Not at all. You okay? 
PTSD? No. Yeah. It's just... This is right where my dad came face to face with Frank Stone. I always you okay had over there? picture of it, but now that I'm actually seeing it with my own eyes, I don't know. It's you should have seen it when it was lively. Like the fact that you guys aren't talking to anybody else is actually kind of pissing me off a lot. Like, I was like, I don't care if he's insecure, but the fact that literally nobody else is talking to, like, anybody, it's just the two of them, really bothers me. Like, that's, that's definitely not a regular holly dandy activity. How do I, how do I even make it to that? Why are you acting like this is the tightest squeeze you've ever been through? This is not even that. This is how I get to it. The crank. Nobody is going to even think about it. Nobody's going to be like, whoa, damn. The crank works. Like. That's crazy. Like, this is just every day to you guys. Is that a rat? Blighted rat. I didn't know I didn't know Quinn was in this game. Maybe I should have played it with Quinn. Got him to install. He might he probably would have joined me for this low key. Okay. Ugh. Here's what we're gonna do. Hi mate Chris. You start here. Robert and I'll follow. Bonnie. J just stay behind and try not to make too much sound while we're rolling. You got it, boss. All right. Everybody ready for a take? Okay, yeah, let's ready. do it. Sound speeds. Hi, May. Chris, all set. Them playing brother and sister is kind of crazy. And action. There's something else you want to say to me? Because now's your last chance. Yeah, as a matter of fact, there is. Don't do this. I have to. No, you don't. What are they no, doing? That's not true. Well, maybe I'd feel better if it were anyone else. Who else is there? But it's not fair. No one said it was. What is the... Already lost mom and dad. I don't want to lose you, too. Now who's being unfair? Where's well, the backstory to this? Selfish. selfish? I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for our parents. If I can pull this off, it might not be too late to save mom and dad. That's impossible. Nothing is impossible. Something about this just doesn't seem right. Do you trust me? I... I... Do you trust me? Yes, of course! Then you know what I have to do. This shot is a little too close. I told you. You said you didn't feel the scene. the lighting? It was great. Thanks. The shot. Did you hear that weird groan right at the end there? Uh, no, but don't sweat it. We're going to replace the sound in Jaime's anyway. No, this is definitely not approving. Jamie, it was perfect. Hesitant. You were good. It was perfect. I don't like the... Jaime, it was perfect. Honestly, the only thing I didn't so? really care for we needed the scene was his, like, the way he said it. Like, what other choice do I have? Like, you okay? What yeah, is that noise? Uh, something about this just doesn't seem right. Uh, okay, that's not what I sounded like. I don't know. It was pretty spot on. <laughs> Gotta, agree. Gotta agree. I don't go around doing impressions of you, dopes. You do impressions of me all the time. And me. I feel honored to have just joined the list. Hot <laughs> damn, kids, that was fun. You really thought it was okay? Yeah, better than half the films I see in New York. I mean, one of them was just a five-hour shot of a guy sleeping. Wow. Damn. Seriously. I'm impressed. I just feel so uh, awkward. I gotta be honest. What? You really didn't think I'd notice what you were doing? Um. What do you mean? What was I doing? Just laying out your own bullshit interpretation of real life. I don't understand. Sacrificing your own life for the good of your sibling and your parents? 
Definitely sounds familiar. Almost like it could even be based on someone we know, but gee, I wonder who. You? That's not fair, Bonnie. No one said it was. But we're trying to make something fun. I'm not trying to make everyone else miserable. At least I'm not being selfish. Selfish? I'm not even the one that wrote the scene. What? You don't want to tell me how noble it is that you're making this movie with your girlfriend while I had to scrub my entire life to take care of you and dad? Where is this even coming from? When you were gone. Okay, I can't even... I'm going to get some fresh air. Want to come outside, Bonnie? Hey, uh, Bonnie, you want to come outside with me for a minute? You could use your help with something. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Why did she even press that? That wasn't even, I'm not even the one that wrote the scene. Linda's the one that wrote the scene. What are you getting emotional for? I, I see, I can't mess with that. And the fact that I told, I, Linda just said, want to go get some fresh air with me. But I'm seeing Robert is really not doing it for me. So, I I just wanted to tell you how much I loved making this movie with you. Me too. I mean, with you, not with me also. <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah. I think we should do something special to mark the occasion. So, I don't know if I'm quite ready to break out the champagne just yet. But we finished the movie. It's in the can. We finished the shoot, yeah, but we're still gonna have to sell people on this thing. Marketing, trailer. Okay, sure. We should keep exploring this place while we still can. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, if we can just get like one more shot of something directly connected to Frank Stone. No. Anything he might have left behind, we'll get all the attention in the world. We should look for that place from the newspaper article. The machine. No. Ah. Uh... Hey, Chris. I don't know if I like this idea. LT. Holy. What can you see? Particles. Something freaky. What are we, Ghostbusters I now? I describe it. I'll try shooting a little. Whoa. Ain't that something? Whatever the hell that was, it's going to look great in the movie. The entity particles of the sacrifice? Is that what that was? I couldn't tell. Like, I was too busy trying to figure out what I was looking at. Only one way to find out. Let's not do it. Let's go take a look. This is terrible. Robert, you're the black one. You're supposed to be the voice of reason. I don't, I don't like this. This is honestly really cool. Like, can I kill off characters from the past to impact the future? Obviously, we know Linda can't die. And Bonnie can't die either because she had to make, uh, Madison. So that means I can... My dad would kill me if you knew I was in here right now. Jaime died, which means he's probably prone to getting killed. I thought the sheriff was all bark and no bite. Not if you're his son. Then he's all of both. Don't you think it's weird how obsessed with this place he is? I guess so. What is happening? What is that? No, look at my character, guys. I didn't even know what happened to Chris. To realize all the long oh, heck no. He liked to take in the middle of the Please night. don't tell me. I'm Bruh. Where he killed a guy. Maybe that's why comes back no. to the scene of the crime. Nah, this is ridiculous. I'm literally walking Honestly, crooked. Please I fix this. Think he wants to I don't like this. What do you mean? Uh, it's it's more like an obsession. And it's gone Bro, to I'm literally on yeah, LSD. Okay, on that, please. Maybe it's just the way he was dealing with all the stress or guilt or whatever, but he sort of started researching all kinds of non-traditional philosophies. Non-traditional. Like acupuncture? There we go. No, no. Oh my God, you you're freaking mean, like, me out. Cold stuff. Well, I 
shouldn't have said I feel like Chris's well, name should did. be Emma. I don't want to give you guys the wrong idea. My dad's a straight shooter. That's it. Sure. Whatever you say, man. Straight shooter. Nose full of dope. Okay. Amen. Who is that? Not clown. I hate clown. If you play clown, Amen. you're low key a clown. Clown. Of course, they have the sound effect of his cough. Maybe it's this area. I feel like this is like the area it's telling me. It's like, hey, climb this. Yep, I knew it. Climb up. Okay, squeeze through. Probably going to cut a lot of this out. Do we climb up? What is the <coughs> release? So I can get down. Perfect. Another jump. I like the way that that works. That's kind of cool. Okay. Ir iridescent head. Okay, Huntress. She tells me I must not fail. I mean, you must not fail with iridescent head. You only got one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely the way to get out. I spent a lot of extra time doing these little little puzzles. Let's just say that stuff is really about to go wrong. Wait a second. Guys, this is it. This is the machine shop. We shouldn't be here. Holy crap. We should leave. It we is. got what we came for. We messed Man, around Chris, and we, we really found out. How to find the coolest stuff. Totally. Nice work, Chris. Let's look around and see what we can find. Yes. Yeah. You really think we're going to find anything the police miss? They're pretty thorough, right? They do miss stuff. Look they do. That. The train? I mean, I doubt that they really went through here that much. Yeah, especially how much your dad was, like, cutting it off. A skeleton crew now. We're all pulling triple duty. I'm the only one left who even knows how to work some of the machines. The rolling miller, the shears, the freight transfer system, said Frank Stone. If Frank was the only one left who knew how to use the freight transfer system, and that one still suspended, I bet it never got searched. Not thoroughly. Ah. Uh. Good point. That doesn't mean we should yeah, go looking through it. There. There's no harm in looking, though, right? Yes, there's it's a lot of harm in looking. There. Let's find a way. And now Come I'm on. playing Jaime. The way he's looking, yeah, I can, I can feel the insecurity the creeping in. There. I don't blame him. In the matter of literal seconds, his girlfriend literally he just got put it on the second hand stiff by his girlfriend like she's not she's not necessarily doing anything wrong but it's okay for him to feel jealous like the, the, them not including him about talking to the film is crazy definitely jealousy worthy <laughs> absolutely and then on top of that not being involved in that conversation linda and freaking Imi should have taken offense to that. You're just trailing behind two people. And they're just talking the entire way. You're not even included in the conversation. You get left on the second hand. It should open the door, right? It's dead. It's the, Do you not know how There's old this place is? There. Why can't we open it? That, that's what I would be trying to do. Open the window. See what Robert has found. Well, shoot, I guess. 
Give me a second first. Let me look down here. And generator. Okay. Of course there is. Looks like, yeah. Uh, let me take a look. I don't want to, bro. If he's able to fix this generator, this game, you really played up the stereotypes with this one. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, can I ask you something, man? What's up? Uh, sure. How come you never asked me to work on your movie? Never oh, thought about uh, it. Well, it's, it's Chris's movie. She decides who works on it. Yeah, but I mean, you know, I'm like a huge horror guy too. I could have been helping you right from the start. I never. It's not. That, that, that wasn't um, my intention. Wasn't what? It wasn't my intention. Give me the choice. You're making a horror movie, yeah, but like, I don't know. The point was for me and my girlfriend and best friend to all do something together. Like, just us. So, I'm just in the way. That. That's not. This is where the choice is. They're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. Impatient. I just want a few minutes alone with Chris. Dang, that's where we're going? I mean, either way, you're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. I don't think that's it. I'm just going to go impatient. All right, look. The truth is, all night, I've been trying to get a few minutes alone to talk to Chris, and it hasn't been easy. You're annoyed that Chris doesn't want to run off and make out with you in the lair of the man who nearly made me an orphan. That's not what I said. That's not it's what not I said at all. She's more focused on her work than you, man. Give me a break. That's not even what I said. Party, Nigga, are you serious, Robert? The door over there needs power for it to open. I saw a key in there. Think it could be useful? Could be, yeah. Okay, it's niggas like Robert I don't like. Never mind. Robert, ro I never mind. I really don't like this man, Robert. Are you serious? Yeah, work is important. It's not everything, though. The fact that you're the, you're exactly what... You, you're exactly the people that... Be like... Yeah, he's a snake. That's... Yeah, repair the generators. Find parts to repair the generator. Yeah, but it's a companionship. He wants to hang out with his girlfriend. What's wrong about that? So you might work with the generator. Yep. There's nothing wrong with wanting to hang out with your girlfriend. That's... Like, sure, work is important. It's not everything, though. Like, why do you think people... Like, if, that, if that's really all people were looking for, just areas to work in, why would people even bother getting into relationships if they have a job? Why bother getting into a relationship while you're in school? Why bother getting into a relationship while you're, like, in a sport? Because you want somebody to hang out with. Like, how is that so hard for some... He gets it. Could help with the he just wants... He just, he just wanted to have his moment. We get it. Attention-seeking ass nigga. We get it. I'm pretty sure this door is locked, right? Yeah. Like, he's exactly the type of dudes that be telling girls, like, you know, he's holding you back. And all that other shit. That's crazy to me that you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong for wanting to spend time with my girlfriend. That's crazy to me. People be killing me with that. While holding RT, press A for the skill checks. God, this is too much like DVD. It's great skill checks like I always hit. Maybe not so much. That one wasn't even. Give me a second. I had to wipe my hands. Dang, close. Dang, almost. And hi me. That's exactly how you just proved the stereotype right. God damn. Open power door. Shit, I'm not fucking with none of you niggas. I'm going straight to the loot. I'm going straight to the loot. I'm going straight what I do. It's crazy, because I wonder how he would have reacted if I freaking pressed him and, like, you're spending a lot of time with my girlfriend. That would have came oh, off yeah. real insecure. But I just told you the straight-up truth, and that's a problem, dude. Like, that's crazy to me.
that I'm in the wrong for wanting to hang out with my girlfriend. That got me tight. Honestly, that's probably because that's that that that's all too familiar with. Maybe there's me. another way in there. Absolutely, there is. The window. Let's smash it. Why are we acting like this is that hard to move? I would have moved this in T minus two seconds. Shoot, I had a girl blow up at me once because I wanted to talk to her because uh, she was like texting less and less and it was like I might get like three responses a day and we were supposed to be like a I thing they got me crawling through the roof ducts like a raccoon you said it not me take the rack out there though yeah, you're the one that okay. didn't mind doing it they didn't even here. ask shoot this is the gonna tell me what's in there right yep don't even know why I open this shit anymore. But, like, I'm saying. So, what do you unlock? Like, yeah, Mickey? but she, there was a girl, she blew up at me because I wanted to hang out with, talk with her. And she was like, holy frick, you're controlling. And I was like, how is it controlling that I want to chat with you? I Moral of the story. Yep. This didn't, it did not end well. F stone. Holy Frank Stone, shit. yep. You think? This could be a real connection to Frank Stone. Probably. Oh, man. We should probably get the rest of the, the group here, you know? Let's see if the key unlocks the box car. I mean... I guess we're going to the boxcar. I was looking like more to the door. I didn't even know we were trying to get in the boxcar, Loki. I, I wasn't even looking. Okay, open it up, I guess. Open it up, pickup truck. But like, yeah, that's crazy. That's snake ass activity. This man's like, how come you you never invited me to the film? Uh, yeah, cause why would I invite up. you to the film? I'm not the director. Don't need to go up. Like, bro's acting like the world revolves around him. Like, it's a film. This is like when I think Metro Boomin and Drake got upset because. Drake wanted to be on Metro Boomin's Heroes and Villains album, and he was and he didn't put Drake on. Like nigga, it's, the world does not revolve around you. If that story is true, we really doing this? I'll go first. You sure you want to do this? I'll go first. I'll go first. Easy as one, two. I was expecting a skill check. Three. Well, if it's that easy. I got you. Do not fall. Grab him, grab him. I pressed it. Thanks, man. I pressed it. Lucky I'm more quick on the draw than this guy. I tried. Yeah, there's a reason Jaime never made starter on our football team. Yeah, coach was a jerk. You keep telling yourself that, bud. Yo, check it. I literally pressed the button. Right through the wall. Is there a delay? Nah, but I I swear to Jimmy, I literally pressed the button. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Damn. It's, yes, it's we're in a serial killer's yeah. area. And it's got friends. Do, do not do not record a scene here. This is insane. Yes, it is. Let's leave. Explore the layer. Must have come loose when the freight broke through. I literally pressed the skill check too. That's upsetting. Maybe that was supposed to happen. I li I swear to Jimmy, I pressed the button. It was a small skill check too. Who are these other? I wasn't even sure I was gonna hit it. <laughs> I would have been fine missing it, but it 
but it completely going off like that. I didn't expect that. I needed to tilt. Weapon design. If he really thinks I was about to let him die because of that, that is crazy to me. What's crazy is that's actually probably going to be an option. Let's look. Fate. 1980. Jamie. Or Jaime. This is Jaime. Chris. Linda. Nope. Linda. Nothing here. Okay, that didn't. That wasn't a significant thing. I literally pressed the button, though. I don't care what the game says. I pressed that button. Ooh. Oh. Damn. Yeah. She was one of Stone's victims. There, found her. Yeah. What about being in a serial killer's lair? Do you not understand? Because they wouldn't have just left all this stuff here. Yes. I'm sorry, man. I think I gotta go get my dad now. Let's leave. This is like real deal, no joke kind of shit, man. I know. I feel that. Now, I'm serious. We really shouldn't be in here anymore. Bro, I'm saying. Back off, man. Just wait. Wait for what? Chris. We need to get our boys. I know how important your movie is. But this whole place is part of an actual murder case now. It's ancient history. There's no statute of limitations on murder. Which means right now, we're tampering with evidence. You want to fuck with that? No. M but the movie? The movie's done. Yeah, the movie is done. Robert's right. We should get the sheriff. We got what we need. That is true. Go. Just don't touch anything else. We need to get our boys out of here, though. And that's crazy that Chris did that. We should get the hell out of here. Yeah, I don't even blame him anymore. Nah, that the fact that she she's like the first person to want to do all this stuff. And now it's crazy. Like, yeah, of course we should have we shouldn't be here. Let's all get out of here first. We don't even have Linda or any of our other friends. We're just Dang, I can't even run. That's how angry this man is. He's not even willing to run. Just jump down. I have no words to say. Chris pissing me off. Jump down. After you? No, mine. I'll go first. We gotta go. Let's hit it. Yikes. You kept the jar? Outside until Robert comes back. You can't move that. Is moving that a good idea? Apprehensive? You can't move that. Is moving that a good idea? This is a terrible idea. Uh, do you think moving that's such a good idea? No way I'm not getting a shot of this thing. Yeah, but it's like But I'm the problem for we can prove we knew that before we got the shot. Plausible deniability, man. I don't think that's what that means. Well, I won't tell if you don't. I'm just not cool with this. Okay. Noted. Don't you care at all how I feel? Of course I care how you feel. Then please just forget about getting the shot and let's go outside and wait for Robert and his dad to get back. Like I'm saying. Upset, but I can't seriously believe you'd ask me to do that. This is too important. More important than me? Than Why are you making this about... Why are we making this about we and me? I started going out with you because you were really fun and making this movie was really fun. But this? Let's get... This isn't very fun anymore. So... What are you saying? I'm saying if we're not having fun anymore, maybe we shouldn't be in a relationship anymore. No words. Let's not even option. There better be. Let's just there's silence. Silence is a valid option. I'm not going to change your mind, hopeful. I want our relationship to work out. I'm not going to change your mind. If that's all that this is, I wasn't even I wasn't even trying to make it about he and we. Like, let's leave. We have two people that we need to get away from here. I mean, 
me, honestly, I would be like, I'm not going to go and try and change her mind. I get he likes Chris. But she pissing me off low-key. In my relationship, I'm not going to change her mind. I get the feeling this is less of a question and more of a statement. So, yeah. Well, not going to be able to change your mind, am I? Probably not. Yeah. That's, that's it, huh? So, we're breaking up? Over this, yeah. I, I've got to get this shot. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Now that's for the best. This is selfish. Like that's that's crazy to me. Yeah, we chose to break up. So I want our relationship to work out. Yeah, I would have loved to pick that, but I'm not gonna go out of my way. To try and change somebody else's mind. That's like, what do I look like? Shoot, I already know something crazy is about to happen. And right now I'm controlling Jamie. Like, go for it. Huh? Let's leave. What? I don't know. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Chris, are you okay? Jamie, are you okay? I keep calling him Jamie. It's Jaime. See, whenever the stuff pops off, did you see the way that they rolled? Why are we here? Let's run. Pants? I heard pants. Can we leave? I mean What is it? What are you seeing? Ooh. Uh. I mean we're definitely helping. I mean Whoa, I mean we're helping. This isn't th I mean, we gotta do something. And friends, Nick, do you think I? <laughs> Come on, action buttons ready. Ooh, that's it. It didn't even give me a choice. Really? Now that's just lame. 